Thanks for joining me again for another Pixie Talks review vlog. Pixie Talks, Pixie Talks, reviews and vlogs at Pixie Talks. Pixie Talks, Pixie Talks, reviews and vlogs at Pixie Talks. Woo! So this week, I decided to check out a fairly recently released anime film. As recommended by Twitter user Majestic Flame, so thanks for the recommendation. I always really enjoy checking out innovative sci-fi that plays with weirder concepts, and this was no exception. This week is Patima Inverted. Anime sci-fi can often be kind of really weird and out there, and that's largely why I like it. When a film comes along that proposes a new concept that hasn't really been done much before, I get a little bit excited. Patima Inverted fits the bill perfectly, being an existential post-apocalyptic sci-fi film about the reversal of gravity. The general plot follows a group of people living underground, apparently upside down to the people above ground. When one girl wanders out of the underground complex and finds herself in a terrifying world where she is in constant danger of falling into the sky, she meets a boy who is just as curious about her as she is about him. Together, the two stand up in the face of government conspiracies forcing their worlds apart in an effort to reunite the fractured human race. This was a really interesting premise and allowed for an awful lot of fun with swapping up for down and down for up. There are so many perspective shifts that it can be hard to keep track of which way is which as a viewer, but man, if it doesn't make for an intriguing visual experience. But speculative science fiction doesn't always adhere to, uh, actual science, and the logistics between what it postulates really don't actually work. I'm sorry, Patima Inverted, but gravity hella does not work like this. There are some gaping plot holes in the science of its premise, and if that type of thing bugs you, it may be a little difficult to suspend disbelief here. Also, anime has this habit of being purposefully really overcomplicated. I had to draw a diagram after watching this in order to make sense of everything. Regardless, it's a darn good story with some really great character development and plot twists. It's suspenseful and keeps you guessing. The characters are all beautifully crafted and are easy to become invested in, so the story pulls at you in a way that's almost haunting. Unfortunately, pacing is where it falls flat on its face. Fatima Inverted is slow. It can drag in places completely unnecessarily. There isn't enough going on in the story for it to be engaging, and it just kind of meanders through high concepts like the nature of humanity and slow dalliances rather than allowing the plot to actually move forward. And the villain is just a very prototypical, insane, self-righteous nut job. And while there are some interesting intricacies to his particular style of insanity, he doesn't really do much to help carry the story. The artwork, however, is absolutely lovely. Environments come alive and characters really feel like they breathe. It's a beautiful piece and makes for a breathtaking visual experience with no hitches to interrupt the flow. I can never understand why some people can't get into anime. Look at this. It's gorgeous. And perfectly suited to a strange world like the one they're trying to portray. Everything just fits together perfectly. Altogether, it was a very enjoyable film. It played with a lot of neat, if a bit ridiculous at times concepts, and it was thoughtful and well told. My only big gripe was how slow it seemed to crawl at times. Definitely a solid piece though, and I don't think you'll regret giving it a watch. And that's it for my review of Fatima Inverted. Thanks again to Majestic Flame for the recommendation. Please be sure to subscribe for more, add me on Facebook and Twitter, etc. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!